Johnny and Robert Stan of Circleville. Johnny Stan trains for Mike Wilder. Number four, sharp looking Phil Aon train driven by Larry Tinch of Franklin. Five horses fancy looking owned by Sharon and Don Barlow of Xenia. Jeff Williamson trains and drives. Number six, True North owned by Robert McCurdy of Delaware. Dennis Parker trains for Gary DeBoard. Seven, Madam Gay, owned and trained by Don Knight of Urbana, Ryan Holtena. The eight, Tucson's Fur Lady, owned by Terry Ader of Clarksburg and Carvel Simmons of Frankfurt. Brett Ader trains for Don Irvin Jr. At number nine, Brett Skilotika, owned by Harold Schnott of Columbus and Hiltebrand trains Jeff Fout in the Sulky. Sixth race, pacing fillies and mares all in behind the gate. They're on the back stretch and approaching the start. And uh, they're off, and it's pocket light from the inside. Alongside goes Kate. Kate True North is sent that way to the outside. Uh, racing third, angling in fourth comes Andy Bama. Into the first turn and fifth on the inside. It's sharp looking filly. A gap of three lengths sixth to fancy look. Another three lengths seventh to Madame Gay. Along the middle in eighth, Tucson's Fair Lady, Brett's Kilotika, the early trailer, watching the action from the back seat here as they approach the first quarter. On the front with the lead, it's pocket light, opening quarter, 28 seconds. True North of the outside has been parked every step thus far, is still there second at the rail and racing a third is Kate Kate. Gapping slightly fourth, Annie Bama to the inside of five is sharp looking Philly. Rushing quickly, sixth now comes Madam Gay. At the wheel in seventh, fancy looking to the outside. Eighth comes Tucson's Fair Lady. That leaves Brett's Kilotika on the outside, racing ninth. They're at the half, and it's still a pocket light. The 10 to 1 with a lead here. Half and 57 and 4. Kate K to the inside is racing a second. And to the outside and moving a first up now. Here comes Madame Gay at the wheel and buried in the fourth. Annie Bama three wide to the outside of five. Here comes Irvine with Tucson's Fair Lady as they begin to move. And True North is fading after the long parked trip. They're at the uh, three-quarter mile marker. And it's still pocket line, a game leader here. Three quarters, 127 and three. On the outside, Madame Gay is stalking that leader. She's now second, but she's come a long way to get here. And Kate Kate is still locked in, waiting for racing room. Outside, Tucson's Fair Lady within striking distance. Less than an eighth of a mile to go. And down the stretch they come. And it's pocket light as Feaster asks for more. To the outside comes Madame Gay, Annie Bama between horses. Far outside, here comes Tucson's Fair Lady, and further outside, it's sharp looking Philly, but pocket light hangs on. The mile and one of 59. Finishing a second number four, sharp looking Philly, third number seven, Madame Gay. Trackside is the unofficial winner, the one pocket light, three year old daughter of the now Ohio stallion in the pocket for the silent majority mare, Invisible Light. But Patrick Brooks of Mount Vernon, Ohio, Don Feaster, the trainer driver, her fourth career win, a career mark tonight, 159, gate to wire. And the sixth race now official. One four perfected one hundred fifty two dollars eighty cents, one fifty two eighty.